Hi, Donna. Are you? All right. Do you want to unmute yourself? You can unmute yourself and we can talk directly and that way uh, others can hear what you're saying, if you are okay with that. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi. 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 Yeah. Hi. Thank you. You answered my question. Oh, I did? Um, okay. You did. I just had, I mean, I, I, I know what you're saying in the sense that when I go into the deep silence, there's almost like there's nothing that compared to that. Like everything is so full there. You know, there's no thought. It's just full. It's kind of empty and full at the same time. If that makes sense? Yes, absolutely. Mm. Um, but I did have a question of, uh, do we have, is there any purpose in being here? You know how the ego mind likes to think of purpose? So I wondered, or do we create, we just make that up? No, the, the purpose of it is that existence is living through you mm. and experiencing the, the dimensions. Mm. That's the purpose of it. That's what yeah. it does. Yeah. I mean, the big kahuna is living through you and being Donna and experiencing whatever Donna is experiencing. That's mm -hmm. what it wants to do. Mm -hmm. And whatever that you desire, like you want to accomplish something, is that's what it is desiring through you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's its purpose. Mm -hmm. So in understanding that, what happens is you relax into your natural way of being, your energy. You relax into what is running through you. Like if you're a very energetic person, then you relax into that. If you're a person who is easygoing and says, okay, I mean, you know, for now, I'm going to take care of it later. Let it just be. Then your mind, you're not entertaining your, in your mind to beat you up. That why aren't you like your sister who's very energetic and is a go-getter and I'm not a go-getter. I'm more laid back and chills. So you begin to recognize that and you relax into it. Mm -hmm. And in that relaxation into your natural state, then everything is also taken care of. Everything takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. But in your style. Mm. That makes, yeah, that makes sense. So when, then we can say that, or one can say that suffering is when you're out of that state. You're out of the flow of who you are. Or, yeah, in a way, yes. Hmm. yeah suffering or you go in your mind and you go to the past and you are entertaining your mistakes and you're beating yourself up yeah mm -hmm. or you're bringing that from the past and projecting it into the future and you suffer mm -hmm. So again, all of it is thoughts. Mm -hmm. Thoughts of going to the past and entertaining what happened and blaming yourself, which is thoughts in your mind or thoughts going into the future, which again, it's the past is being projected into the future and creating fear or worry, anxiety. And then suffering comes. It's mm. all related to, it's all because of thoughts. Thoughts, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why we're emphasizing so much in practicing being silent or mm -hmm. going beyond the mind. Mm -hmm. And then, as you mentioned, you experience the fullness. Mm -hmm. 
of, of the being. Mm -hmm. And it's vast and it's quiet and it's blissful. Mm. Yes. Mm. Where, where are you from, Donna? I'm in South Jersey in the United States. Oh. South, and, south uh, and, on the beat, South Jersey. Right. Okay, mm. South. And you've been on this academy before? Or it's your no, no, I haven't. I was just, I, I saw the, um, uh, you know, the email last night, and it looked appealing. So I thought, oh, let me join in. I have seen some of your work before, and I've also been in, you know, my own non-dual programs in which I've been a student for a very long time. So. I resonate with your work. Mm. Right. Mm. right. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, if you ever get a chance, maybe you watch some of the videos of Ramesh Balsakar mm. or Ramana Maharshi. Mm. I mean, David Godman has a, a series of narratives talking about uh, Ramana, Ramana Maharshi. Mm -hmm. So there, there's oh. a lot of amazing uh, Advaita Vedanta teachers from back back in the day, the big ones. Mm. And it's very nice to refer to their teachings every once in a while. If yes. you want a if you want a variety. Mm. Yes, thank you. Mm. Hmm. Well, welcome. Thank you for. Thank you. Thank you for uh, yeah, yeah. answering my question. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you again. Yes. Thank you. Can you have Drea? Okay. So we have a message here. It says, "It's not to think, but to sense it." Yeah. That's that's true. You sense it. I mean, I mean, ultimately, the, the bottom line is I always like to keep it simple. And the simplicity of it is like, I mean, basically, what are we looking for? And, um, you know, whenever you get really caught up into all these spiritual concepts or stories and um, you're confused or you're in a discussion with someone else or you're reading a book and that book kind of throws you off or that teaching, um, ultimately come back to this place. It's a very, very simple thing is that we, you, we all want to be happy. At the end of the day, we all want to be happy. Now, we think being happy means things go my way. So if I get the object of the desire, I get what I really want, that's going to make me happy. And so that's our programming, because from childhood, we've been programmed to believe that happiness comes from getting what you want. But that happiness is basically temporarily, because you get the object of your desire, whether it's a man or a woman, it's money, it's a, it's a car, it's home, it's the job or ideal family or whatever it is, you finally get what you wanted. But that's going to just make you keep you satisfied for a short period of time. Then you want something else. And you're working in that direction to try to manipulate things around you to get what you want. But what we want is really want to be happy. And happiness only comes from inner peace. 